Mr. Ugly so stunning. Mr. Ugly and the human. Yes, Hello, and welcome to the Mr. Ugly Show. I am your host, Mr. Ugly. It's Alternators August here on the Mr. Ugly Show. So let's keep them coming with one of the more unique figures in the Transformers Alternators toy line, Ravage. This is Alternators Ravage, first released by Hasbro in 2007. This character is unique in the Alternators toy line as it is the first one to get more than one figure in the line and the first to have distinct alternate and robot modes for each figure. The version we have for you today is a licensed 124th scale Jaguar XK, which is also the first Alternators toy to have a European manufacturer's vehicle as its alt mode. Ravage, as you may already know, is one of the microcassette transformers from the G1 toy line. He transformed into a robotic black Jaguar, and in cassette mode, he fit inside Decepticon Spymaster Soundwave's chest. Anyway, this version of Ravage is like the other alternator figures. The alternate mode is a fully licensed scale vehicle with rubber tires and opening doors. However, he is one of the few figures that do not have an opening hood or trunk. He's also got an actual cabin floor for the vehicle interior, which isn't unique, but is uncommon. Where he is much different from the other alternators is that his robot mode is not a humanoid robot, but rather a representation of his original robot mode, an actual Jaguar. Ravage is indeed a Jaguar that transforms into a robotic Jaguar. He also has built-in weaponry instead of a transforming engine like other Alternator toys. The original G1 figure had chromed missile pods that plugged into its hips. This one has red-tipped missiles in chromed pods that are attached at the hips. They're also on these posable arms and can rotate up and down. His legs and neck are also fairly posable, but let's be honest, these were never meant to be children's toys. Ravage is fun to mess with, but like the other alternators, he's really meant to be set on a shelf with other cool-looking figures to be shown off to your geek friends, or to secretly fiddle with when you think nobody's looking. How do you know about that? What are you talking about? I was joking. Me too. I was also joking. <clears throat> anyway, I, like many other born in the 70s or 80s in the 80s kids, love me some Ravage. I've got both of his alternators figures, so maybe we'll get around to looking at his Battle Ravage version in a later episode. For now, though, I just want to say how cool this vehicle mode is compared to the usual American streetcars that a lot of the other alternators figures turn into. I'm not really a car guy, but that's one sexy-looking automobile. Well, I don't know from sexy, but yeah, the Jaguar XK is a sleek-looking machine. I really love the robot Jaguar mode for this figure. It's a little gappy when viewed from the wrong angles, but man, does it look cool overall. From the shiny missile pods to his little kitty toesies. There's a lot to like about this big dude. Well, folks, that's our look at Alternator's Ravage. Thank you for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a like. If you're new here, then welcome, and maybe hit that subscribe button. And that bell for notifications when we post new videos. Look, we're going to try and squeeze out at least one more episode in this Alternators August series. So we'll see you then. Until then, we know you have a choice when wasting time on the internet. And we appreciate you wasting some of it with us. See ya. Mwah.